Welcome back to the channel everybody. Welcome back to the vlog. If you happen to be stopping in for the very first time, my name is Chuck. Thank you for coming along and as you know in the past I've always said you're riding shotgun. Somebody said, hey Chuck, we're actually driving this thing. <laughs> I guess in essence you are because I'm kind of giving you the driver's seat perspective. Uh, that's what I like to do on this channel. I'm a, a pickup and delivery driver for a company called Estes Express. And I endeavor to bring you along with me. Where's my buddy at? Where's He ain't in his truck. Must be too hot. There he is. He always gives me a thumbs up. Ready to go. Try to close the door on me. <laughs> uh, we got two pallets for uh, these fine folks in here. This is a, a national, uh, this place right here makes fences, and they literally make it. I mean, everything is made here. All this blue stuff that you see, they ship a lot of that out to uh, fence or fix, uh, fence distributors. Uh, I believe they've even made the fence for the White House came out of here. That's what I was told anyway. Over here on the left is their uh, pickup. Over here in door 23 is their deliveries. And I found that the best way really, there's a couple of different ways you can back into this. You could uh, do this way. Or you could have went up that little hill over there. Go up that hill and then kind of alley dock it per se. Let's put her in reverse here. We'll give it a little honk. Somebody said, Chuck, really need to be honking when you're back. Yeah, I know. Usually I'm looking everywhere, but yeah, you're right. Should get, get used to giving a little honk. inside there. These flatbedders come through here. See these little well, crane? They, uh, machines that help them tarp. It's big things up there. They put their tarps on that and it lowers it down. Got two big ones for you. Two big ones? Two, well, they're little ones. <laughs> no, nah, two on the left down there. Yeah, that, left. yeah two on the left. <laughs> got. <laughs> okay, here we go. <laughs> you got that one and this one. You might be able to grab them both. There you go. What? What? Is somebody else using yours? Yeah, I ain't gonna do that again. I'm gonna give this one. Uh huh. All right, I'm all give give his tank away. Yeah. See all. Fuck the rabbit. Got all out of shape. He done wore that one out. Well, at least I didn't have ten for you today. That'll work. You came with them rings, something on today. I know it. You had a whole bunch of them. All right, y'all. Y'all be good today. Right. See you later. Right. Thanks. Ice machine. And when you exit this facility, you actually don't go out the same way you came in. You come over here where they do a bunch of the loading for the flatbedders. 
That's just a lot of fencing materials. The guy was telling me one time, he goes, they do 40 to 50 trailer loads out of here a day. That's just a lot. They keep melting. You do, uh, Melton does a lot out of here, which is a flatbed company actually based out of here in Tulsa. And then um, TMC does a lot of loads out of here. All right, I'll see you guys at the next one. And the next place I'm going to, they don't have a dock, and I've got a back end up off this street. Usually this is a uh, lift gate delivery, but it's only like 112 pounds, so hopefully there's someone here that can help me at least take it off the back of the truck. So, there's not a whole lot of room right here. We're going to be going back and then right here. So, what we got to do is throw a four way zone. Leave us plenty of room over on the right because we're going to need it. We got trees and everything else. We got cars. Looks like we missed everything. You guy looking at me like, man, dude, you're pretty good at that. Well, uh, thank you, sir. I appreciate it. We're gonna go right through this little white gate down here. Close enough as I can get to their little dock area they had. Well, it's not really a dock, it's just a door. So about right there. Hello. I've got one pallet for you guys. Uh, it weighs about a hundred pounds. Um, I don't know if there's someone who can help me just lift it down. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Usually they put it on a lift gate because it's so light. They went ahead and just put it on me. How's it going? Howdy, sir. How you oh, pretty good. It only weighs 111 pounds, whatever. I didn't even get a notice that it was being shipped. Oh, really? Yeah. So you're expecting it, kind of? Yeah. Yeah. You want to yeah, just, just put it right here? Yeah, okay. Set it in, I'll get it with a uh, pallet jack. Okay. Uh, yeah, I knew it was coming, but uh, you know, they didn't give me a notice that, hey, it's on the way. <laughs> They just shipped it and it's here. Yeah, that's it. Came out of uh, uh, New York. Oh, wow. Okay. And there's your copy. Y'all right. have a great day. You too. Thank, Thank you. you. So, we're coming out of here, going right over there. So we'll just keep it rolling. <laughs> 
Seminole Street. Seminole Wind. Somebody sing a, a country song. Seminole Wind or something, brother. Put the four ways on. Get her set up. Always try to get that trailer pointed where you want it to go. Give the truck a little honk. Good over here. Yeah. We'll have to save that one. No one shot her today, guys. No one shot her today. Sometimes it just doesn't work out. down there on the end. They don't hear me down here. <laughs> Got uh, looks like two different separate bills here. Uh, yes, sir. There you go. Y'all have a great day. Thanks. Another successful delivery, courtesy of the Big E, 67029, the workhorse. I'm telling you what, being successful as a, as a PND driver is all about this workhorse, this tractor. I mean, I can drive any tractor we have as far as, you know, sometimes you have to, uh, but when you can be in your same tractor every day, man, me and this thing, I know exactly how it turns, what I can do. Uh, nothing like doing this job in your truck. Alright guys, I will see you at the next one. My next delivery, actually my last delivery, is this customer right over here on the left. They do not have a dock. So what you have to do is basically drive around their facility and on the back side they have a, a garage door and we're going to spin around and back up to it and they will come out with a forklift and get it. You say, Chuck, you know, when you first got started, how long all these places you go to? You gotta stop and think this is just one route. We've got many routes and I've ran them all. And you may say, Chuck, you know, how did you 
<laughs> that took, that must have taken forever to learn every place's process. It did. It did. But once you've been somewhere once, you never forget it. You never forget it. I haven't been here in probably over a year. They'll come out this right over here. I remember the first time I ever came here, I, I pulled in and I didn't know what the heck was going. It's like, I went, you just go in and ask people. You just say, hey, uh, what y'all's procedure here? I got a delivery for you. And they'll tell you. And then after that, you, uh, you kind of know their procedure, kind of how they do things. I hear the forklift. Grabbing the handle. Hello. today yeah no well for now I'm about to start pickups right. so now I got to fill it up now that I've emptied it <laughs> <laughs> all right pretty much just when you think you got something done you know you just got started y'all yeah. have a great day you too. thanks a lot so that is as I said to that gentleman that is it for the deliveries for the day now the fun begins. I'll put a couple of uh, pickups here on this video. So I'll see you guys later on down the line. Well, the pickups are well underway. We're about to pick up a pallet here at the tire facility. It's showing it's one pallet at 760 pounds. So that could mean one of two things. Either it's one of those big old giant tires like tractor tires or it's gonna be a pallet that has like four tires on it that's usually what it is what's some serious edging right there you gotta edge all that so you guys that have followed the channel you know when I make deliveries I go back there when I make pickups I come over here Usually the pickups, I usually try to hit door six or seven. Because usually the pickups are down here on the end. So, the little figure S here. And they got plenty of lines, so that's always nice. Too many lines, really. You know which one. <laughs> I might be able to save it. We'll see. We'll see if we can save it. Look at there. Look at there. We saved it.
Alright, here it is. Greenville. Yep. So what I do with stuff like this, we're gonna put it up against the wall. Things always ride better on the right hand side. So. What we're gonna do is put a strap. Put a strap on that top tire. Should keep all that from moving around. Oh, that should ride good. We got our bills, put our bills in, and then we will be off to the next one. All right, those tires are headed to uh, Greenville, Texas. Greenville, not for sure where that's near, but Greenville, Texas. It'll be there tomorrow. <laughs> I don't know. It'll be down in Texas tonight, but you know, I. Don't know where Greenville is, what uh, terminal services that city, but we will uh, see you at the next one. We are rolling up to the final pickup of the vlog. We've got more to do after this one, but I know we're already pushing that 20 minute mark. But this one, we're picking up one, one pallet. Some of you that have followed the channel, been here before. Some of you may be the first time. You know, I always debate. You know, which stops do I want to, do I want to record? And I know that many of you who are avid fans of the channel <laughs> used to seeing some of these, but. Not everybody has seen them. Pickup truck right here, a little close today. A little bit close, ain't giving much room. I had a guy who sent me an email said, Chuck, I could never be a PND driver. He goes, I watch you back. He goes, he goes, I'd be taking out all kinds of stuff. <laughs> Trucking, when it comes to backing, is one of those things. Either you you know how to do it, you grab it, and you just you're able to do it. And there's just some people that just you know, no matter what they do, they just they can't ever pick it up. And you know, hey, not everybody's meant to do everything. But we're gonna run in here and get these uh, get this pallet picked up. I'm ready for fall. Tired of the heat.
Thanks, sir. Yeah, you. you too. Well, everyone, I want to thank you again, as always, for stopping by, spending a few moments with me as we're out here picking up and delivering freight. I hope you find the content something that you enjoy. If it is, definitely make sure you subscribe to the channel. Always make sure you hit the thumbs up. And if you ever want to just say hi, leave me a comment down below. But guys, till I see you at the next video, I hope each and every one of you have a blessed rest of your day and remember this life is truly short make sure you make it sweet now let's check out some of your rides Peace. Sometimes what's right is wrong instead Cause I